I was starting to look up some things about what's going on in the musical world, and I stumbled across this, which I found incredibly interesting. Um, you may or may not know about this, but I if you do, we could talk about it. So recently, there was um, a musician named Oliver Anthony. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do. Essentially, you know, for the listeners who don't know, he put out a song on YouTube. I guess he had already written songs before, but he wasn't as successful. Um, but he put out a song on YouTube um, called Rich Men, North of Richmond. And it was essentially an overnight success. Um, and it stirred all kinds of controversy in, in the music community or the politics community, because basically um, the song was about um, the struggles of a working class man. And there were some lines in the song about paying taxes and the dollar, you know, the American dollar and whatnot. And somehow his song became politicized and different I, I guess more so the conservatives. I'm not hundred percent sure different political parties were trying to use his song. As a matter of fact, I think it was used in a presidential debate and, you know, Oliver Anthony spoke out and said that like this song was not meant to be politicized. Have you heard about this? Do you have any thoughts on this? I'm kind of curious to see what you know about it or like how you feel about this. Yeah. I'm so happy you asked me about this because yeah. I love when art is able to trigger a response regardless of, of what kind of response, like, how beautiful is that songwriting, number one, and his emotion and his voice? Yeah. Like the the culmination of what what he was exp he was expressing himself through the written word. Yeah. And through you yeah. know voice and guitar, but how fascinating is that that he was able to write a song, express himself perform that song in a, in a YouTube video, not even a, like a record or, you know, yeah. a, tr a traditionally, you know, published um, work, you know, a song that comes out on Spotify yeah. or some, someone on Instagram, like, Hey, just dropped a new single. Like yeah. it was like um, a, a West Virginia based yeah. YouTube channel, I think put out this, this YouTube clip of this guy playing one of his original songs. And I think the fact that it triggered such a response speaks to the songwriting. Yeah, the, the brilliance of that songwriting. Yeah, it makes sense because I I think what why that song because I listened to it. Um, I heard it on other podcasts as well, um, and I think the reason why it was just, it was so successful is because I feel like we're definitely in an era that, an era that's like becoming very AI and like things are kind of moving forward in this like tech technological era and I think it was kind of like a bare bones like coming from the soul sort of song mm -hmm. and he he spoke, he sang it in such a way that was like, almost like this is his spirit singing. Like he yeah. really sang out. It was like, he was crying or wailing. So that's why I think it had such an emotional impact. I think the reason why it took up, I think like some of these politicians were like, okay, these, this song spoke to America. So let's, let's, let's use it as a weapon essentially right. to try to be like, I get you. I get the song, which is, you know, I, I, I listened to his video where he was saying that that's not what this intention was. The funny and the ironic thing about this is that I was trying to like write about these people. <laughs> like I was talking about how like you don't understand us and now you're trying to use and weaponize this as a political thing. So it's like, it's like incredible how a lot of these like different artistic projects end up being politicized in some kind of way. It kind of reminds me of the Barbie thing. I remember the Barbie thing was like heavily politicized. It's like, <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, Oliver Anthony, mm -hmm. he, mentions rich politicians and yeah. he's sort of speaking about his human experience yeah. and furthermore the american experience right because yeah. he's an american he's talking about richmond north of richmond which is it's, it's, you know uh, yeah dc north of richmond virginia yeah. um so i i get it why it became immediately politicized but it's like he's calling out politicians everywhere in, in general i don't yeah. i don't think he's being specific i think he's yeah. like rich politicians like they're they're, put they're on, all yeah they're all put on blast and and uh the american has to suffer for it the average working yeah. class uh citizen in america yeah. and yeah I, I understand why it became widely politicized but i think again it speaks to the the brilliance of songwriting being able to express yourself through the written word and through singing um 
I thought it was brilliant the way he accompanies himself with the with the guitar. I think it was a resonator guitar. Um, but there's something special about that. Being able to still in this day and age with social media and um, the music industry being the way that it is, it's a hard ceiling to sort of break through now. Yeah. Um, that you can still become an overnight success because people gravitate towards that authenticity. Being able to be real, ex yeah. express yourself. Yeah. I, so what you said about that, like about the power that song can have to impact an entire society, essentially, you know, the American society, I guess, um, it got me thinking, and I kind of came up with this philosophical question about music that I've thought of before, and I never really knew the answer to. Um, so I'm wondering what you think. Do you think music or musicians, when they write music, do they have an obligation to be careful about what they say in their song so for example like like the thing that comes to mind for me is like the remember the WAP song like what a big deal <laughs> that was like a political thing because some people were like all right this song is so cool and some people were like this is bad for society what are you doing in your opinion do you think music do musicians have to be careful about what they say or can is it okay to express like things that can be deemed as quote-unquote bad for society like what's your take on that I feel like the right answer is it's art right, right? like I feel like you're allowed to make what you want to make and whether your audience is small or extremely large i think you're allowed to say what you want to say and yeah. make the art that you want to make um or or even if you're just making it by yourself and you're not publishing it right? yeah, like, like I, some of my friends will probably disagree with me for saying this but when it comes to things like the WAP song or whatever I just saw it as a silly fun song like I yeah. wasn't like oh my god how dare I mean I wouldn't play in front of my grandmother like let's put it that way but I, like I wouldn't be like oh my god this is teaching kids this is teaching women to act like it, I I don't I don't think it's that I mean I could be wrong but personally I didn't think it was that serious I thought it was just like a fun silly song like you know what I mean like that's how I took it but some people they have you know some people have the opinion of like what you say in a song is going to affect the kids I mean like I used to listen to Eminem as a kid yeah I don't I didn't kill anybody yet like you know what right. I mean like I didn't rape anybody murder anybody again it, it, it's it's to me, I liked Eminem not because I wanted to be whatever he was singing about, but it was just like a vibe. Like I was like, oh, this is a vibe. Like it was a feeling for me. You know what I mean? So I just, I think it's interesting that some people have this like opinion that like, that's not music. It's like kind of it. It's like music is just organized sound and words combined to elicit some type of emotion, you know? Right. And I think there's always going to be heavier subject matter, whether it's in movies or yeah. TV, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe if something's publicly broadcast, like on television, you're not going to put like, you know, nudity or violence right, yeah. um, in those types of situations. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if songwriters have a responsibility to be less crass. I think yeah. if you're, if you're writing, you're expressing yourself and you have the right to publish to your audience what you want to publish. Yeah. Sure. There's going to be maybe people that have something to say about it. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, barring, you know, streaming platforms, maybe yeah. saying like, Hey, let's, let's put the censored version of this song. <laughs> See that I'm fine with that aspect of things. It's like, okay, we need to put a censored version on because of the audience. There might be kids here. I understand that. But to me, it's like, okay, like hypothetically, what if I wanted to write a song about a serial killer and I wanted to, make the words in the perspective of the serial killer or something like that. I feel like I have every right to write a song like that. If that's what I want to do, you yeah. know, <laughs> if that's what you want to write about, then yeah. yeah, absolutely. And it's, and it's art. You're trying things. Yeah. It's just like film. You know what I mean? Like some people, they write horror films. You know what I mean? Like some people, they make films about heavy subjects and it's not like, I mean, I, I like, again, I understand the idea of censoring it from young people who their minds aren't developed enough to know the difference perhaps, but um, I think it's totally fine to be able to express those types of things in your art, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So, all right. Next question for you. 